Good morning. It's uh, Pastor Mark Hendricks, Jasper Pentecostal Church. It's uh, Wednesday, April 29th. And uh, I'm up at uh, Patricia Lake, up on uh, the bench uh, above uh, the Jasper Town site. Uh, pyramid bench, uh, we sometimes call it. Uh, because uh, the most prominent mountain here is uh, behind the town is uh, Pyramid Mountain and there you can see it in the background you can see uh, Patricia Lake and uh, Pyramid Mountain one of uh, Jasper's uh, well-known and uh, very uh, picturesque uh, spots um, it's also uh, the uh, resting place of the Habakkuk project, a uh, somewhat famous uh, project from uh, the World War II uh, times uh, when uh, uh, the uh, Allies uh, secretly uh, tried to uh, build an aircraft carrier made of ice and, uh, and wood, and uh, that's sunk now to the bottom of, uh, of uh, Patricia Lake. Uh, but uh, an interesting story and named from a scripture verse in uh, the book of Habakkuk but another story for another time uh, I pray that uh, you're all uh, doing well and that you're keeping happy it's important to uh, keep ourselves happy encourage ourselves uh, during this time when we're uh, shut in and uh, locked down and uh, may or may not be able to work um, certainly uh, can't do uh, a lot of the things that we uh, normally do uh, so uh, we need to keep ourselves encouraged and uh, I pray that you're uh, that you're doing uh, things to uh, keep yourself uh, cheerful and um, and thankful for the good health and uh, the provision that we do have I know uh, just coming up uh, here uh, to this uh, picturesque uh, place uh, makes uh, me more cheerful and uh, glad to uh, to live where I do live what a privilege to live here in Jasper National Park but, uh, I come up here uh, because uh, it's springtime and uh, normally at this time uh, the uh, the buds are out on the trees and uh, the catkins are on the aspen trees uh, but uh, we're uh, having uh, a late uh, sort of year or late sort of spring and uh, so it's uh, they're not out completely but uh, just below Pyramid Mountain there you can uh, see uh, 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 a swath of well it's kind of brown right now in the fall it's uh, it's yellow it's gold uh, with the uh, leaves that uh, aspen leaves that have uh, turned uh, in the springtime it turns green and uh, I'm just going to take you down to the lakeside there's a maybe you can hear a cyclist going by on the road another guy trying to keep himself uh, uh, well and uh, cheerful this time of year careful I don't fall here or fall into the lake <laughs> how do you explain that with the selfie stick eh? but uh, there that's nice right being down by the lakeside and uh, the Sun is uh, coming down uh, from uh, the east uh, yeah a beautiful day it turned out but uh, I was telling you about uh, the uh, that swath of trees there and uh, normally this time of year it's green I was looking back at some of my old photos and uh, usually uh, uh, and from April 24th in 2010 I took some photos and the catkins were already long those blossoms that uh, small tiny little flowers uh, and they look like uh, a, a cattail uh, soft and furry uh, on the trees uh, they were out by April 24th and uh, and there was buds on the trees as well and and so that swath of trees was looking green back there but not this year because we're having uh, a late spring but I suspect that by next week uh, we'll start to see that 
I want to read uh, a passage of scripture for you from uh, the Gospel of Luke. And uh, Jesus talks about uh, the springtime and the trees and the leaves. And uh, he's talking in uh, the Gospel of Luke, uh, chapter 21, about, uh, about his return and uh, his uh, second coming. And when will it be? And of course, he doesn't say when uh, precisely it will be. Only uh, God the Father uh, knows that time. Uh, but uh, he does uh, talk about the signs. And uh, so uh, he, uh, in uh, chapter 21 and uh, verse 29, Jesus tells his disciples, he told them this parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. The kingdom of God is the kingdom that uh, Christ himself, the king, uh, will bring uh, at the time of his, uh, of his return. And uh, so Jesus was talking about the signs of uh, his return. And uh, one of the signs is uh, what would happen to uh, Jerusalem. And Jesus talks about uh, the city of Jerusalem and what will become of it. And uh, then uh, the times of the Gentiles. And uh, so uh, Jerusalem has significance for uh, the return of Christ and for the plan of God and salvation of his people. And uh, I want to talk about that uh, this Sunday in uh, my uh, uh, message uh, to you uh, that uh, I'll... Uh, record for this Sunday, and uh, so I welcome you to, uh, uh, to watch for that on uh, Facebook and on our website and on uh, YouTube, and uh, also I'd like to uh, lead you in a time of uh, communion. Uh, the Lord said to uh, remember him uh, with uh, uh, the cup and the bread uh, until he comes, and uh, after I speak about um, the second coming of Christ and uh, the signs of his return um, will uh, share in a communion to remember our Lord and Savior and his death for our sakes, but also to look forward to his, uh, his return to, uh, to grant us uh, our inheritance uh, in him and to uh, uh, give us uh, our uh, resurrection uh, reward um, and the Thing that we've been talking about uh, the last few weeks, the resurrection of Christ and the resurrection of the saints. And when will that return? Well, at the return of our Savior and uh, the coming of the kingdom. So I'm going to be speaking about that this Sunday. I want to pray before you, uh, with you before I go and uh, pray for our friends and fellow Albertans in Fort McMurray uh, going through another difficult time. I uh, pray for you as well and uh, for others. Father God, we thank you for your blessings and your care and your provision. And uh, Father, I pray that uh, you'll keep uh, all of us uh, well. And I pray that you'll uh, keep us happy, Lord. Uh, may we uh, remain encouraged and uh, remain thankful for what you uh, do for us, what you have done for us. And uh, for, uh, Lord, uh, your provision and, uh, and good health, uh, even in this time of uh, COVID crisis, uh, and also the, uh, the everlasting health that we have in Christ Jesus and uh, the salvation that we look forward to in him, the coming of his kingdom and uh, the resurrection inheritance that we will someday enjoy in Christ Jesus. And uh, Father God, uh, I pray uh, this morning for our friends and fellow Albertans uh, in Fort McMurray uh, who have been uh, struck by a flood and are having to uh, keep back the waters of the river and uh, have already, part of the town has already been submerged in water. Uh, and this after uh, 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 the uh, health crisis uh, throughout Alberta and our nation and uh, and then the fire that swept through there uh, not long ago. 
Father, we pray, uh, your, uh, I pray your encouragement for these people. I pray uh, your help and strength for them. And I pray that uh, you will grant them uh, provision and help to, uh, uh, Lord, uh, uh, overcome this flood and its effects. And so I pray your blessing and provision for them. And uh, Father, I pray, uh, Lord, your, your health and provision for all our friends and family and those who uh, might be uh, watching uh, this video. And uh, Father, our friends and family in the United States, I pray uh, your care and, uh, and protection for them. And uh, Lord, throughout the world, uh, Father, we pray for the redemption uh, of our world, uh, and we pray, uh, we know that you love the world and uh, that uh, uh, you have sent your Son uh, to, uh, to die for the world and to redeem the world, and uh, we pray for, uh, Lord, your redemption during this present crisis, uh, uh, this health crisis. May we recover. May, uh, Lord, uh, there, uh, may you grant uh, the discovery of a, a vaccine that will effectively treat uh, this uh, COVID virus. And so, Father, I pray for uh, these blessings and these mercies and uh, these provisions and uh, good health and, uh, and, and salvation, uh, Lord, uh, for those who put their trust in you. And uh, so I pray in the wonderful name of Jesus. And uh, I say farewell to you, uh, friends and family of Jasper Pentecostal Church. And uh, I'll uh, see you again uh, on uh, Sunday morning uh, in uh, my video recording uh, for, that, uh, for that day. God bless.